Hey everyone, here's a guide on where to find all the incantations in the Elden Ring DLC, Shadow of the Earth Tree. First on this list is the Roar of Rugalia. This can be found near the ravine North Grace. From here, take the path all the way to the Tuping, and in an open field there should be a giant bear waiting for you. Upon defeating Rugalia, you get its roar. Knight's Lightning Spear is next on this list. Firstly, you want to travel to the Scorpion River Catacombs Grace, next to where you killed the bear Rugalia. From here, just follow the path I take to get to its location. We're pretty much just going to be taking the main path in these catacombs all the way until we reach the main hall area, with the second pair of Deathblight Eyes. From this area, you want to climb up the ladder, then go right across the bridge. But before you enter the doorway, you want to make a left onto the ledge and hug the wall until you get across. From here, the incantation will be at the back end of the room in the middle behind the eyes. Up next, we have aspects of the Crucible Thorns. This can be found in the main plaza of the Shadow Keep. From the High Road Cross Grace, just simply take the path all the way until you reach the main lift entrance of the keep. From here, you have to fight the Golden Hippo once you enter the keep, which will drop this incantation. Next up is the Fire Serpent Incantation. This can be found in the Shadow Keep next to the storehouse back section side of Grace. From this grace, take the ladder all the way up. When you reach the top of the ladder, make a right and go up the staircase. From here, just keep moving forward until you reach a balcony and the incantation will be on the body. Up next, we have Wrath from Afar. This can be found by traveling to the storehouse loft side of Grace in the Shadow Keep. From here, you just want to take the elevator up and simply follow my path. The incantation can be found behind the pillar located on the giant gear. To get Mesmer's orb incantation, you have to beat Mesmer who's located in the Shadow Keep. Once you beat him, you gain his remembrance and you can take that remembrance to the round table hold and exchange it for Mesmer's orb. Up next, we have the Golden Arcs incantation. This can be found near the Morth Ruins Grace. From the Grace, you just want to travel southeast into the Morth Ruins. Just simply follow my path and you can easily get it. So we essentially just want to hop on our horse and just go straight and just kind of go over these rocks uh, that are coming up a little bit and just be careful not to fall because there's a little hole here but we want to jump on this corner and we we're aiming for the highest ledge of this broken down house right there if you don't land on that you're gonna die on the fall and then from here we can just drop down wherever there's gonna be three little casters that you can kill if you want to but it's gonna be in the chest right in front of you in the doorway up next we have the giant golden arc this can be found in the ruins of unti however first to access these ruins you must get a special cookbook you can find this cookbook by traveling to the Three Path Cross Grace and heading to the Tuping. From here, you'll find a shack right below some small ridges, and in the shack will be the cookbook. Now go to the ruins and we can craft a hefty furnace pot. We want to use this pot to wake up that giant furnace that's blocking the entrance. From here, just follow my pathing, which will bring you right up to the top of the furnace. Once you awaken the furnace, now you can enter the ruins, and the giant golden arc incantation will be right at the back of the chest. Up um, next, we have the Land of Shadows incantation. This can be found at the Tree Worship Sanctum area. Now, to get to this area, we can first go to the Church District Entrance Grace, and from here, just follow my path all the way to uh, this ping, this three ping. So pretty much you're just going to enter this main area. There, there's going to be a few enemies here. I think there's going to be one big caster guy that also, I believe, dropped something the first time. But you just want to make a right and just kind of go through these doors. And all the way at the end of these doors, there'll be a really big door that you can open up. So once you open up and go all the way down the lift, you can take this grace all the way to the tree worship sanctum grace as well. And then from here, you can go to the two ping. Now, here is the boss. It's going to be around this area. It's a big sunflower. And upon defeating it, you get its remembrance. And when you get the remembrance, just go to the round table hold and exchange its remembrance for the Land of Shadows incantation. Next up, we have Rain of Fire, which can be found next to the West Rampart side of Grace. To get to this Grace, first you want to go to the Shadow Keep and go to the Storehouse first floor side of Grace. From this Grace, you want to go to the left, go into this left room, and there'll be a lift right in front of you. Take this lift all the way down, and you'll get to the West Rampart side of Grace. Now from here, all you simply have to do is just go through the bridge, and there'll be multiple enemies that you have to kill. 
At the very end of the bridge, there'll be a caster who is using Reign of Fire. Once you kill the caster, you will get the incantation Reign of, Reign of Fire. Next up, we'll do a two-for-one special and grab both the Divine Bird Feathers and Pest Thread Spirit Incantations. These can be found in the Ancient Ruins of Raw area from the Raw Ancient Ruins West Grace. Just simply follow my pathing to the One Ping. So from this grace site, you're just going to lean towards left and go all the way up these left stairs. And there's going to be like a lot of these little uh, ad people. You can just run by them or kill them. And they shoot a lot of this weird magic at you. But you just want to make a left here and pretty much go to the right and take this elevator. Now, if you haven't been here before, the elevator will already be down. So pretty much after you get off the elevator, you'll you'll pretty much be at the one ping. Uh, you do have to fight a two-sworded knight, but it'll be on a skeleton, the Divine Bird Feathers. Now, from the Bird Feathers area, you can easily get the Pest Thread Spears by going straight into the little cave-like structure that you see. And when you enter this area you do have to make a left. And so when you make a left, you'll be right here at my location. And from here, it'll be right between those two pillars, that little item that you see right in front of you. The bloom incantation can be found in the same area that we found the other two, but we have to take it a step further. So pretty much we wanna to go to that one ping from the ancient ruins west side of Grace. So from here, we're gonna do what we did last time. We're pretty much just gonna go up these stairs and this time, instead of making a left, we're actually going to make a right. The left brought us upwards. The right is going to kind of keep us on level. And so we're just going to kind of go through here, go through that big entrance that you see in front of us. I think you can actually take a right way, too, if you don't want to go th through here. I think there is a right way, but uh, this might be the one. Uh, in any case, though, if you look at the left, there is an elevator. So if you're in the other area that we went to earlier, you can just take that elevator downwards and you'll be in the same place. So from here, there's actually an invisible bridge that you can just walk right across. The people are kind enough to leave messages. And you just want to jump down here to the right. Our goal is to get all the way downwards. So just kind of find any rock that you think you can safely jump down onto. And we just want to keep going downwards from here. It'll take a little bit of fall damage, but that's fine. So pretty much we just want to go to the base of the structure and the incantation will be sitting right next to this little flower right here on this body. So from the ancient ruins, grand stairway side of grace, we can go all the way to that one ping and we actually get the tornado incantation. Now to get to this area in the first place, what we want to do is go from the ancient ruins west. And you guys are going to hate me for this, but there's actually a shortcut to get to the other incantations as well from here. So from here, we want to make a right instead of going left up the stairway. And we want to go to that little spirit spring that the one that doesn't really work. If you guys explored this way uh, prior to going to this grace, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now to actually get it to work, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use Mog Shackles. And we're just going to smash this thing right here. And it's actually going to open up the spirit spring for us. So now we can use the spirit spring, jump up here. And again, this is a shortcut. So you can also get the other incantations from here as well. But pretty much we're going to keep going. Um, this is sort of like the second level. We're just going to kind of go straight back beyond this night, behind this night. And from this ledge, there's going to be a drop down. And you pretty much have to make your way through this like sort of mini maze. But we want to get to the other side over here. So just make sure to drop down pretty carefully. Use the horse to double jump across. And... From here, we just want to take the elevator right up and we'll get the next set of grace. Now, and it's important to note to the right, there's actually a pretty cool talisman that you can get. So explore that area before you go up here. And from the side of grace, we pretty much are just moving forward on a straight path uh, beyond this giant archer. You guys can kill the giant archer if you want, but I just chose to ignore him. So pretty much just keep going straight down the staircases. And from, from here, the, the road is pretty simple. Drop down right here, and you'll get to this Divine Beast. Now, after defeating him, you'll get the Incantation. Our next Incantation is Round Butterflies, which can be dropped by Romina, Saint of the Bud. Once you get a Remembrance, take it to the Round Table Hold, and from there, you can exchange it with the Round Butterflies Incantation. Now, to get here, we first have to start at the Raw Ancient Ruins West Grace. And from here, we want to path all the way until the Spirit Spring that we talked about earlier. Now, from here, we can simply just jump up, and this is, again, this is our shortcut. You can get 
to this area through the other way if you want to as well but this is the shortcut way so all we need to do is just path right into this little cave like area here and we just make a left right up the stairs and right to the left of the stairs is going to be the main grace and the boss room is going to be right ahead of you the minor earth tree incantation can be found closest to the hinterland side of grace so when you travel to the hinterland grace you want to go all the way up to the one ping into shaman village and the incantation will be sitting right next to a golden tree right in the middle of the area Heal from afar is our next incantation. This can be found in a small cave northeast of the Morth Ruins Grace. Once you enter the cave, the incantation will be sitting right next to the golden tree. After defeating the Divine Beast, you want to travel back here to the small private altar Grace. You need to talk to Hornset Grandma with the Divine Beast helmet on. After talking to her about two times, you should get the Watchful Spirit incantation. I will say that I think you need to talk to her before beating Mesmere, otherwise she bugs out and won't wake up. This actually happened to me, so I can't get the incantation, and according to Reddit, it's because I beat Mesmere before talking with her. Up next, we have the Electro Charge incantation. To get this, you need to go to the Fog Rift Catacombs, which is north of the Castlefront Grace. The path to get to this incantation can be a bit hidden, so just follow my pathing from here on out. When you get to this final room with the two mages, it'll be sitting on the body right here. So one thing I want to point out is another incantation I can't get until New Game Plus because I screwed up. So I'm making this so you can learn from my failures and it doesn't happen to you. The incantation Dragon Ball to the Flora Sacks, which is one I really wanted, but eh, it's it's whatever. You can find this from the Dragon Priestess next to where you got Bailey's incantations. However, first there are a few steps you need to take. The very first one is doing Moore's quest line, which I'll have right here on the video. You can pause it if you want to do this, just read the text. But pretty much you need to get the concoction at the very end of the quest. That's what you need to have. So once you get this concoction, first meet Igon along the way from the dragon pit to the grand altar. Make sure to talk to him and exhaust his dialogue. Then go to the dragon altar and exhaust the dragon priest dialogue. Next, go to the jagged peak where you'll find two fighting dragons. After you kill them, you'll see Igon gone again behind them talk to him exhaust his dialogue get his finger that's used for summoning then go back to the grand altar and talk to the dragon priestess again next go to the grace and pass time until nighttime the dragon priestess will be asleep and drug her with the concoction that you got from moore's quest line then keep passing time until she wakes up it might take a day or two but then talk to her again and exhaust her dialogue from here you can now scale the mountain and fight bailey however you need to make sure you summon igon for the fight when the fight's over, listen to Igon's victory rant and unlock the grace, then TP immediately back to the altar grace and talk to the dragon priest. Then she will give you the dragon bolt of Florisax incantation. If you do not do this stuff, she will be a pile of clothes left on the ground when you get back. Bailey's incantations can be found here at the Grand Altar Dragon Commune side of grace. Once you defeat Bailey, you can travel back here and use his heart to get either his tyranny or flame lightning incantation. To get to Bailey, go from the Dragon's Pit Terminus side of Grace, and when you hit the dragon that's sleeping sort of in the center here, just make a left at the fork, and it should be a pretty straight path all the way to the foot of the Jagged Peak side of Grace. From here, you can just simply again follow another path. It's it's pretty straightforward. There are a few dragons that you do have to fight along the way, a couple boss dragons, and you can get to the Jagged uh, peak mountainside side of grace from here it is a little bit of rock climbing but it's pretty good workout and you can simply just get to the next side of grace and then bailey is right inside the arena you can also do the ritual of dragon commune to get the ghost flame breath incantation you do need three dragon hearts for this but by the time you like defeat bailey and all that kind of stuff you should have way more than three dragon hearts to be able to get this incantation to get the frenzied flame incantation you have to beat midra lord of the frenzied flame from here, you can take his Remembrance to the Roundtable Hold and exchange it for the Frenzied Flame Incantation. Now, Midra could be found here in Midra's Mance in the Abyssal Woods. To get here, pretty much go through the Dark Light Catacombs and just make your way to each of these graces around the woods. When you get to this area, you'll see a big opening that'll be the Mance. Next up, we have the Multilayered Ring of Light Incantation. This can be found by first going to the Fissure Waypoint side of Grace and simply following the path all the way until you reach the Misbegotten Crusader.
He will drop the incantation once you defeat him. The incantation Spira can be found in the first Rai side of Grace in the final area. Just pretty much go to this one ping that I have pinged down. So pretty much from here, you just want to take the left entrance out. And there's going to be quite a few enemies, some of which being pretty tough, but I already cleared them all here. So you just want to jump over this, like, broken little bridge, go up the steps. Again, there's going to be some big enemies, or there's going to be one big enemy here. Go up these steps, and pretty much we want to get to this one ping. So to get over here, we have to jump onto this tree branch, make our way forward. Be careful, make sure not to fall. Okay, that one was kind of funny. But in any case, after you fall, you got to go back over here <laughs> and just jump on this. Clear this little guy and you get Spira. The Furious Blade of Ansbach has a lot of parts to it, all of which I'm not familiar with, but I'll show you how I completed this quest line to get the blade incantation. Firstly, you want to talk to Ansbach located at the main cross grace. Now, I had never oh, yes. talked to him before, maybe you have previously, but after you exhaust his dialogue, you can travel to the storehouse 7th floor Grace, located in the Shadow Keep. Once you're here, talk to Freya, who will tell you she's busy. You might be able to skip this step, but again, this is what I did. So from here, you need to get the scroll for Ansbach, which can be found next to the storehouse 4th floor Grace. Once you get to this Grace, you want to go out to the door to the left, where you'll find some stairs upwards. Now, there's going to be an annoying dude that shoots magic at you. You can just run past this guy if you want, or you can kill him up to you. But once you get past them and take the stairs up, there'll be some stairs to the left as well that'll lead downward. So you're going to want to go ahead and take those and make a right to get inside the room. And the scroll will be on the other side of the bookshelf to the right. Oh, it was right there the whole time. Now, travel back to Ansbach to give him the scroll. And his new location will be next to the storehouse first floor side of Grace in the Shadow Keep. He's right there. Thank goodness. Thank goodness me, bro. It's about time. Now, before you actually give him the scroll, make sure you ask about Freya's decision, yep. and then you can give him the scroll afterwards. Once you exhaust all of his dialogue, I think you have to rest out of grace and then come back to him, where he'll give you a letter to give to Freya. Perfect. Once you get the letter, go back to Freya and give it to her. Nope. Now, from here is where the fun begins. After the conversation, she'll give you her shield, travel back to Ansbach's location, and you'll see two summoning signs. One for Needle Knight Leda, and one for Ansbach. Make sure you choose Ansbach's summoning sign, which will be highlighted in gold. Once you defeat Leda, the next part of the quest will happen in Anir, the final area. You want to find the Cleansing Chamber Grace, which will be on the main path of the story. Once you're here, make your way up the stairs and into the sand room. Here you'll see some summoning signs, and once again, make sure you choose to summon Ansbach for the final fight. After defeating all the NPCs, make your way forward and go up the elevator where Ansbach will be waiting for you. Just talk to him and exhaust his dialogue. Now from here, the quest is pretty much finished. You can summon Ansbach in the fight against Radon, but you don't have to. In fact, he makes the fight harder because Radon gets more HP because you have a summoning, and Ansbach, I swear, he just doesn't do shit. But Besides having some cool dialogue. But after you defeat Ranon, just rest at the grace and Ansbach's belongings, including the Furious Blade Incantation, will be to the east on the wall. Okay, hold on, dude. Light of Mikola can be found by defeating the final boss of the DLC, Radon. Once you defeat him, bring his remembrance to the round table hold and exchange it for the Light of Mikola Incantation. And that's gonna wrap it up. Those are gonna be all the incantations in the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. I hope you all enjoyed and were able to find what you were looking for. Until next time, see ya.